Alright, so I'm going to show you how to render a part of an image online for free. And this is useful if you don't have an image editing software, and it allows you to create images with a transparent background that you can overlay on web pages or in videos in Final Cut or wherever you want. So, the first thing you have to do is find the image that you want to render. So, I'm just going to go on Google and get the Lego emblem with an image behind it so we can get rid of that and just end up with the Lego emblem. So save your picture to your desktop and then you're going to want to go to online image editor. Just type that in on Google and it'll bring up probably the first link www.onlineimageeditor.com. You're going to choose the file that you saved onto the desktop. You're going to open that and upload it onto the image editor. So now that your image is uploaded, you are going to go to the top and click on the Wizards tab. And then you will click Transparency, which will bring up the options on the left, where you can either draw a transparent line through your image to get rid of whatever you don't want in the background, or you can use a transparent box. The box would probably be best for this image in particular because we're trying to get a square. So you just change the size and shape of the box and try and get it as close to the image that you want as possible and then click remove area once you have that and it gets rid of the background. So if at any point you're doing this and you accidentally go into the image that you're trying to keep there and you mess up, all you have to do is go to the top and click the undo button. It'll fix that problem. Boom. You can also change the size of the line that you're working with on the draw transparent line option if you want to make it smaller or bigger depending on what you're doing. But for now we're just going to work with the transparent box because we are trying to get a square anyway. So just finish that up. And then you're going to go to save at the top and save image local which will allow you to save it right onto your computer. And then when you open it up you should have a rendered version of the picture that you want. You can also upload the image that you just rendered onto another image if you want to on the same site. All you have to do is choose Upload New Image and pick a new picture, and then go back to Wizards on the Wizards tab, and then go to Overlay Image, and then you choose the rendered image that you just made. Click Open and Upload it, and this will allow you to move it around and play with the size on the image that you just uploaded underneath it. And then you just save your image again to your desktop, and there you have it.